Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and and today I'm going to be showing you how to construct construct your track for the Mono Tram system. So first, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is search MT on your list li lift because that's what I've labeled everything as, as you can see. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need a, to get a few straight pieces in, as these are the backbone of your system. Now, now the way that I have categorized pieces in the system is I've done it by a system of units, which one unit is approx is the length of one straight piece here, or I guess the size of a, the length, t the total length of one side of a curve. And I believe a length is like thirty three blocks. I don't quote me on that. It's something like that. It, it's a weird number, I know, but it, it just is mainly based on a curve. But first thing that you're going to need to do when you construct a track is you're going to need to make sure you elevate it sufficiently off the ground. As I mean, this is scrap mechanic, and putting things too close to the ground will actually um, cause lag, and we don't want that. Also, um, it is also good to have things a little ways off the ground because if you do need to get look at the underside of the train while it's on the track it's better to have the track lifted up so you don't have to do weird fiddling with your lift and then worrying about putting your train back on the track at least that's my opinion so to build your tracks simply just weld the pieces together like this the orange section onto orange section like so now it's also important to mention that because scrap mechanic is again scrap mechanic you will also want to occasionally separate your um, track sections by about a block, like so. And this is probably, probably there's two main reasons for this. Number one, well, lag. Also, we're going to be putting in a curve here. Now, notice that these curves have these black dots, and I'll explain what those are and why those are later. Anyhow, back to why you need to separate your track pieces. Because in scrap mechanic, if there if there's one object, so a track that is too large it will start to cause performance issues and it will also so start to cause physics issues because if you have if you have one really long section of track for some reason and I don't know why it does this y your train might not have track might stop having good traction on the track don't ask me why okay anyhow uh, I'm just gonna quickly build out this track here now, at some point in the making of your track, you're going to want to be putting in, say, a station, like this here. You also might put in switches, but though the process for putting in switches is pretty much the same for putting in a station. So we'll just do this, although a switch has two outputs. Now there are four different varieties of stations that I have made for you to use. The first two are these, or a sing, is a single station like this with the platform just on different sides. And the main reason for that is minding this arrow here, because this arrow is indicating the direction that the train will have to drive through the station, as these are directional stations. The other two types of stations that I have are ones where I've ar already put in two platforms. And the difference with those is that it, there's one, one train platform going in each direction. So now that we put this in, and a station platform is the length of three units, we can go and finish this off. Alright, so this simple track here has been completed. Now, there are a couple other things that will need to be noted here when we're talking about track. While I have been talking about Stand the normal U or unit of track, which is one the length of one straight section here. There is also another unit that is what that is used when we're talking about tracks, stations, and the like. And that is one SU or small unit, which as you can see here is a bit over half of one normal U. And the way we get that is by we is that we separate if we want to put two tracks next to each other, we separate them by 16 blocks, eight tracks, eight blocks on the either side of each track. And that gives us a separation distance of one SU. Now, now if you are putting two pl train platforms together, there will be one SU in between the tracks in the center if it's a 
that type of train platform. Or if they're if you're putting the two platforms together to have the tracks on the outside, it'll be two each platform itself is one SU, so that'll be two SUs in between each of the tracks for the station. Additionally, if you need to use an S bend for something like adjusting to the current location of a station, an S bend has a width of one SU as well. And that is pretty much it for the how to build a tracks. So yeah. Now hopefully that was descriptive enough for you to understand how to build your own tracks with the monotram system.